Hello! Today I'm here to talk to you about the different sections of the Bander Orchestra and what happens to them psychologically as a result of where they sit in the band. Basically, today I'm going to talk about the trumpet players and the trombone players and what I have experienced through the bands that I have been blessed to be a part of. I also have to say that I am a brass player also. I play the euphonium, which I will explain in the next video. It's not a disease. Um, and I, I just want to say I love you guys. And this is by no means how every trumpet player is or every trombone player is. This is just what I've, what I've seen um, or experienced. And as much as I would like to believe that I am all-knowing and that everything I say is truth, um, it's, it's not. The first section of the brass players that I would like to talk about is the trumpet players. Um, trumpet players have a reputation for being very overly confident about themselves, and to me, I've experienced two different, uh, varieties of trumpet players. The first one is, um, the people who are just kind of regular people, they're like very well-rounded, they get good grades, um, they're outgoing, they're funny, and then there's another type of, of trumpet players that are more like the lost middle child of a family. Now, these trumpet players, they, uh, they try to, they play a lot of high screeching notes at the beginning of a rehearsal, but you can tell right away if they're playing high notes that that is a person that um, need some validation, and there's good reason for this. I mean, they sit in the back row of the band, so it's kind of like a, like a, look at me, I'm here! Yeah! The next section of the band is the trombone section, and for those of you who aren't familiar, the trombone is the brass instrument with the bell and the slide, the slide that goes like this in, in the band. Um, so I've also noticed two different types of trombone players. It seems to me that there's usually like one goofy goofball person in the trombone section that um, tries to get everyone else to be goofy with them. And it's usually like the third trombone player um, who's playing like the third part or it's the bass trombone player. I think the rest of the section usually practices a lot and they're really dedicated and um, I think they're pretty quiet, and I think it's mostly because they are praying to the music gods that they don't go deaf, because usually they sit right in front of the percussion section. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and um, I have to go teach now, so I have to go. And, um, please subscribe to my channel. Coming up next is going to be the euphonium and tuba sections.